it's given me the opportunity to interact with and experience something I can only describe as being supernatural or paranormal, which at the best of times is very exciting and exhilarating. Um, perhaps at the worst of times is quite unnerving and even frightening. There's a certain artistic pride which comes into it, which um, I'll admit I enjoy when someone praises my work or work I've been involved with, um, but I don't really see it functions particularly well inside the art arena, which has a problematic relationship with the public and works far better outside the art arena when people know that what they're looking at is a crop circle and not something that's hung in a gallery. I don't really see it as, as that much trouble. It is very addictive doing it, um, especially if you're experiencing things which are beyond conventional science or science as we know it. If the believers want to believe whatever their, their beliefs may be, I'm quite happy to let them believe that and I'm not going to come out and say that I've made this particular formation, it's not in my interest to claim authorship. Um, I let people freely believe what they want to. It doesn't so much anger me unless the product which they're, they're selling is of a very poor quality. Um, I'm quite happy to go out and buy their products if they're of a, an adept standard. I don't crave publicity but I think it's an integral part of, of the crop circle um, phenomena. Um, not perhaps the publicity of the, the people behind it, but the publicity of the circles themselves is very important. Well, I, don't, I don't feel that I'm pulling the wool over anyone's eyes because I'm allowing them to have a free decision about their, their belief. They, they can go out into a field and experience something which is very personal to them, something which perhaps only they can experience in, in that particular circle and be very special to them. It's not in my interest to say I made that circle, it didn't happen, because quite obviously to them it did. And very often something strange will have occurred whilst creating the circle. People are quite free to believe what they want to, as long as they don't impose their own beliefs upon me and allow me to base my opinion and beliefs on what I've experienced. We're not going to get caught or prosecuted. It's a near enough impossible task unless you're going to mount 24-hour surveillance on every field in the south of England um, for the period that the crops grow, which simply isn't feasible. I'm not directly involved in, in any kind of religion, so saying to people who believe in Christianity that there simply isn't a God or Jesus never existed isn't really in my, my particular interest. Um, I mean, I'm involved in circles, not in Christianity. And circles aren't strictly a religion, however much the believers might like to think it is. Exactly the same amount of right as anyone who researches the circles has to market a product which ultimately is on the backbone of something I've made and exactly the same amount of, of right as a farmer has to charge two pound entry fee into its field. They kind of need us, we need them. Without the publicists of um, our, our product, it makes it, well, renders it 50% useless really. Um, it's something which needs to interact with the media, with the public, and without that, it's, it goes unseen. It's just for me to know about and the people I've made the circle with. <laughs> no believers really know that, that I play quite as big a part as I do in, in circle making. Until, until now, perhaps. <laughs> 
Absolutely, it's one of the, the main reasons why I make circles. It's um, perhaps not every circle that you go out and make has some kind of paranormal experience, but at least one every year for the last five years, um, ranging from maybe a huge ball of light with a, a very low, almost inaudible humming noise with it that appears to cast no light whatsoever or um, a column of light shooting out from the, the sky accompanied by a kind of metallic smell like you've held coins in your hand um, or small balls of light doing seemingly impossible things as well as perhaps um, events which occur afterwards like camera battery drains on, on your return that perhaps a circle which I thought I'd made up appears somewhere else particularly relevant um, for instance on some secret document somewhere or something like that if I've made a circle and um, and I think that, that I've purely and simply come up with that design uh, from my own consciousness that maybe someone else has, has drawn out that sign or symbol um, or had some direct relevance to that and experienced that symbol somewhere else. Um, it seems now that there's been a quite a huge shift in perception from the believers that whilst formerly they were quite happy to believe that the circles were made by some supernatural force um, that now they're more than happy to believe that the circles can be made by humans but it doesn't matter um, the shapes that are appearing in the fields are giving inspiration and allowing for, for people to, to enjoy perhaps the countryside and, and the phenomena whereas beforehand if you mention the word a hoax you get a, a scornful look and perhaps be targeted for some aggressive behavior um, that doesn't really seem to be too much of a priority now no because in in many ways I don't think think that the whole phenomena is is defunct um, as I've said there's many kind of instances of, of something paranormal happening um, which when it makes you feel quite unnerved because you don't know precisely what role you play um, in the whole phenomena it can be a little confusing at times I get I guess I'm fairly confused as to what what role I play um, I'd like to think that there was something bigger and greater out there as I think perhaps everyone would I think the whole whole thing resides in land art ultimately has an authorship behind it um, when crop circles um, have no authorship behind them they are a lot more powerful they um, they are crop circles not art which I find particularly interesting if they become art or land art they lose a lot of their their mystique their paranormal powers people are less likely to believe in something happening and I think that's very important that if you're wanting to experience something, you have to go into it with a, an open mind and not a closed mind. People will come and I wouldn't use perhaps as strong a word as, as worship, but they'll bring a whole manner of beliefs, be it dowsing or meditation um, or just simply wanting to experience a, a particular change in atmosphere or energy and that is I think perhaps one of the bigger successes of, of crop circles that they can bring together a lot of people who want to experience these things um, and a lot of enjoyment when people do experience these things.
be it that it's not collectively or, or cannot be proven, is perhaps a, a, a facet of, of the whole phenomena which, which is very integral to it. Well, I would consider myself an architect of temporary sacred sites, depending on what people experience when they're in that temporary temple. Um, if, however, they do experience something, then I'm, I'm very happy for them that they have experienced something. And it could be seen then as a, a temporary sacred site.